Ooh, all right. Oh, sorry. It's a little relaxed. It's been a long day. You can go for a beer. Uh, it's a little early, but I'm gonna knock these out early. These are ones I have not had yet, and they're focused on pumpkin. So most people will know where they want to be at, and we'll skip forward if they're not for this. Anyone who's not sure wants to find out and see where this is at. Um, here we go. <laughs> So this is one you find in Trader Joe's. So if you're already a Trader Joe's shopper, uh, yeah, you're good. It's right there. Um, they're already out. If you're not a Trader Joe um, shopper, you might want to check it out. It's pretty cool. Has some things you can't find anywhere else. Um, a lot of the things are pretty, pretty much like a new supermarket. It's like an Aldi's but fancier. Um, but there are some things this brand is only found at Trader Joe's that I know of. I haven't seen it anywhere else before, and I don't know if it's newer. But anyways, uh, they do have a few other uh, styles of beer. So this one's called Howling Gourds. It is an ale with pumpkin and some spice. It's just pumpkin. Usually they'll have uh, spices, usually like nutmeg, cinnamon, maybe cardamom, things like that. So off the bat, has a little uh, smells like well, right when the, the meat of the pumpkin starts, not the inner flesh. Inner flesh. I did try regular um, pumpkin for pie. It, 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 it's as weird as the texture is, there's actually a flavor that comes from the more mature pumpkin that contribute to it. So like, I can smell that part. And the actual soft part, there's a sweet spot, or if you get pie uh, pumpkins, which are smaller, it's a little sweeter area that's more just clean meat that you can actually focus on and that makes a better dessert. So. If you try those two neck and neck, like right next to each other, it'll mess you up on how, it's like a mango. It's not just the texture, there's also a flavor that goes with that texture or a guava. And then some companies are able to mimic it. So even though there's no mango in there, it's, it's sensation and the taste go together and it's like there's real mango in there. It's crazy. Uh, little spices. It's a little uh, bright orangey kind of smelling, just like autumn, but still the sun's out. A little sweet, a little spice. The gourd is very subtle for me. Some people might catch more of it. It's a good 7%, so there's, uh, I was wondering, like, a little booziness. The spice have kind of like a, almost like a eucalyptus kind of feel. Not that it tastes like that, it just gives off that little extra fragrance, and then with that, the gourd and the alcohol seem to rise up. And I guess they bring them all out, or the alcohol is bringing it out along with it. Alcohol can pull those flavors out and oils. So those like usually when you get like scented oils and stuff, it's because they sit a lot of that in one oil and it draws all the smell and flavor out of it. So because it's all fermented together, they're one unit, but they're definitely all standing out differently. Get the gourd, get the beer, nice light maltiness. Not really catching too much hoppiness, but it's in there. There's like a little bitter background. It could be from the spices and the hops, but they seem to be dancing well together. They seem to be getting along and I'm just enjoying it. So if you like pumpkin beers, give this one a try. If you don't, this is a solid one to begin with. That's the only reason why I brought it up. It's pretty potent. There are other ones that are not as strong, but have all the same flavor complexities that you might desire from this. And everybody else should be tuned out if they're not about this at all. To each their own, but for me, this is good. So two thumbs up, solid um, pumpkin beer. If anyone's looking for it or hasn't had it, you know, you're looking for something new, definitely worth a try so there you go hopefully it's out and i'm posting this early because they're out now so get them now don't wait till the end um you can buy them now for a party just keep them in the fridge it should be fine the pumpkin usually lasts the whole flavor lasts the only thing you might lose is the hoppiness so you won't get any hops you'll get more of the other flavors and but it's not really a bad thing with this style of beer but past that point just drink it don't let it sit too long Otherwise, it just will be a boozy, boozy drink. And if you like that, hey, I'm not judging here. But until then, I'll catch you later. Uh, let's see what else we can find for now. Enjoy.